All right, we're going to go over this worksheet together. So have this worksheet out with a pencil, and you can fill it in as we go along. Feel free to pause along the way if you need to. Starts out, here are three isotopes of an element. 612C, 613C, 614C. The element is, so for this answer we look at C, we can reference to a periodic table. And the periodic table C is carbon. The number 6 refers to, um, that 6 is the atomic number. That 6 is um, always associated with carbon on the periodic table. The numbers 12, 13, and 14 refer to the, it refers to the, Isotope number. How many protons and neutrons are in the first isotope? You should know that the number of protons is equal to the number of neutrons, and that's also equal to the atomic number. The atomic number is six, and then there's six protons, and there's six neutrons. Um, that's the same with carbon no matter what. So the answer is six for all of these answers. Or questions. Completing this chart. Um, this chart's nice. It gives you the atomic number. So the atomic number is listed before, so it's 92. The mass number is equal to the number of, um, well, I guess it's, it's listed here. It's the number afterwards, so it's 235. So that equals the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. Um, the proton number is always equal to the atomic number. Since the atomic number is 92, the proton number is 92. So to solve for the number of neutrons, we have to do some math. Okay? So if protons plus neutrons equals the mass number, then we have to do some subtraction to solve for neutrons. So neutrons is going to be 235 minus 92, and that equals 143. Well, if we're looking at uranium-238, uranium is still number 92 on the periodic table, so its atomic number is 92. The mass number here is 238. The number of protons is equal to the number, or the atomic number, so that's 92. Um, to subtract the mass, the protons from the mass number, so we get the neutrons, so 238 minus 92 gives us 146. Um, boron is number 5 on the periodic table. Its atomic number is 5. According to this example, the mass number is 10. Number of protons equals the atomic number, so that's 5. That's 10 minus 5 is 5. In this last example, the atomic number is given as 5. The mass number is the number after boron, which is 11. The proton number is the same as the atomic number, so it is 5. And the neutron number would be 11 minus 5. Now let's do the math and fill in 11 minus 5 for the last box there. Number 1, the atomic number of an element is, um, it is the number of protons. Does this number ever change for atoms of the same element? If it did change for atoms of the same element, then we would have a different element. So no, it does not change. It always stays the same for an element. So carbon is always going to have six um, protons. Boron is always going to have five. Does not change. Um, the atomic mass of an element is the um, number of protons, protons plus the number of neutrons. We'll represent that with our symbol here. Um, if this number changes for an atom of a specific element, you have a, that's what we call an isotope. 
at mass number changes. If we change the mass number, does it necessarily mean that the number of protons or neutrons has changed? Yes. According to the question above that, can it change the number of protons? No, the number of protons always stays the same. The thing that changes when we have an isotope is the number of neutrons. So um, it changes the number of neutrons. If an atom has seven protons, seven electrons, and eight neutrons, what is the atomic number? Atomic number equals the number of protons. In this example, they tell us it's seven. The atomic mass is the number of protons plus neutrons. Seven plus eight is 15. This atom belongs to number seven on the periodic table. Which I don't have in front of me. Um, so go ahead and look that one up on the periodic table on the back of the classroom number seven. Then put that answer in there. 